It's WPGC 95.5 DMV Fix Your Face, Cut Your Radios Up. It's your man Tony Rez, a.k.a. Mr. 24-7. I got a legend in the building. Her name is Remy Ma. Okay, a legend. That's what's up. I like this talk. I yeah, like it that, is. That, that's the type of cloth talk that I like to hear. Let's go. Well. Cause you legendary. So I'm just going. I'm, I'm just going to jump straight to the game. So okay. now, that, I mean, last time I seen you was at the BT Awards. So yes. you know, I done burned your ear up then. <laughs> so now, you know, what I didn't didn't get to ask you is what you was a prodigy to Big Pun. Yes. And Little Kim was a prodigy to Biggie. Yes. How did that? make you feel to to be under like a legend like pun like pun was a oh pun monster. Was amazing like i tell people that all the time like you know i don't I, I don't feel like a lot of times he gets his, his just due like is not too many rappers that i think could stand next to him and and still shine in in, in his presence like as as whack as prom <laughs> but um you know to be able to do a project with it was so weird that, that you say it like that because we didn't even realize it until we started shooting a video and like you know i was doing my thing and kim was doing her thing and we had pause in between um scenes and this guy he was like yo i just got chills on my arms he's like yo it was just like watching big and pun over there i was like whoa like that right. that's deep right. like i didn't even look at it on that level but um it's it's a it's a wonderful thing when you have somebody that that you look up to them, that you think is great, and that other people consider great and iconic and legendary, and they co-sign you. Like, one is the reason I'm able to sit here and talk to you. Right. Like, and I can't nobody ever take that from them. Like, he gave me my shot. He believed in me. Okay, now, a lot of local artists mm -hmm. in the city, yes. they come to me and they, they, they throw in their CDs, they send me their music. Remy, can I tell you that it's not coded? Can I tell you that it's not copywritten? Can I tell you that, you know, they don't, some of them don't even own their own names. Can you tell, can you please tell the youth of the district of Merlin, of VA, how important it is to handle your business before you handle your music? Um, well, it, well, it depends. It depends, because some people, they just do music because they love music. They just do it because, you know, this is something that's in their heart and they feel it and they just love doing music. If that's what you're doing for, because you just want people to hear your music mm -hmm. and you don't really care about anything else, cool. Just keep passing out your music, uncoded, uncopywritten, and all of that. That's why I come along, snatch it, oh, put it God. up, and but, make but if, tons of money. Okay, but if it's if you're not doing it for the money, then that's not gonna bother you. You don't care. That's not this is not for your livelihood. This is just something you gotta do. If you're in this because you eventually want to make money one day, you want to be able to take care of your family, you want to be able to, you know possibly even be wealthy absolutely know the business not just not those are the those are the basics the getting your name um you know um registered and owning the trademark and getting your copyrights to all your music and just whatever all of that stuff that's the basics that you just need period for yourself but i mean really learning the business like where's the money come from what does the money go to? Where can you get money? Like, you want to know how to make money without using your money. Yeah, a lot yes. of people, you know, I see like, yo, I'm trying to get this money together because I want to do this. Like, that's that's not what people do. People get other people money. You get other people to invest in you or you get loans or you get whatever you need to in order to, you don't use your own money. I mean, it's, it's cool if you if you up like that and you're great. I don't want, I don't want like, <laughs> use my own money. When I was independent, it was it was so cool because I spent a lot of the time that I was away learning the business. But it took me years to know like, okay, this is not just about being the best rapper and having people say I'm dumb nice and she could rap and her song was dope. Like, nah, this is really a business and I myself, I am a brand. I am the walking brand. And I started I, I was making eleven cents an hour and I was getting the Billboard Billboard magazine, which is like do you know that magazine is like three hundred dollars a year for a subscription? Ooh. It's ridiculous. People don't even read magazines like that. I didn't even <laughs> understand it. But it, I was learning who was making money on on their tours, who was the top selling tours, who was um what songs was moving in what um regions, just all different types of things that you that I just didn't care about, and the average artist just doesn't look into what labels is doing what, who's the execs, who's in this position, what does this position do? All of that stuff, it, it matters. You wouldn't, you wouldn't go and say, "Hey, I'm gonna be, I want to be 
the owner or you know the person that's um, running a McDonald's and you don't know you don't know what they sell you don't know nothing about a Big Mac you don't know nothing about no fries you don't know nothing about a fryer like these are the things you you have to know if you wanted to open a store you want to open anything a liquor store you got to know what brands is there how do you get your um the the vendors how do you get the product like people get into this business they're gonna do this, I'm just gonna rap and I'm gonna put music out nah it's steps that you have to take. Even think that's what anything that you want to do. Find out what you really getting into. You might I know people who go to school for years, four years, six years, get degrees in something that they don't even care about, or in a, in a job that's not even gonna make them any money. They they owe more money in loans and student loans than they'll ever make in a profession that they're trying to be in. So you know you gotta really do your research on in anything, not just music. Bad, bad. Now you got the song out. Wake up. Wait, with yeah. another legend. Yes. How did that come about? Well, Queen <laughs> B. Well, that that was it was kind of, that was easy one. I can tell you that one easy. Um, I, I got the the beat from uh, Cool and Dre and Smitty Beats in Miami, and I was right into it, and I just kept hearing a little Kim on it. Like this, it's a sample from Mary J. Blige's "I Could Love You," mm -hmm. who's a uh, where no Mary is an icon, Mary is Mary. And um Kim was on that record. So I'm like, all right, maybe that's why I'm hearing all this. And then I'm like, no, because the sample was also used on little Kim's hardcore album or right. on Queen Bean. I'm like, you know what? I just I need Kim on this record. Like that's it. Like I, I, I hear it in my head. I hear her on my ad libs. I hear everything how I want her cadence to be. Like I need to I need to get on track and I called her and I told her and she was like of course, I got you. There's nothing. Come through. She was in the studio. We linked up and we made it happen. Called a week later, like, hey, you want to shoot the video? She's like, yeah, all right. Let me know what you need. Hair, makeup, you know, just whatever. And I and I got you on me and we did it. But see that, like, when you say stuff like that, when right. I when I hear you say when I hear you say you just called her and she was with it, yeah. this is what I try to get the rappers in my city to do. Mm -hmm. Just imagine if they work together. Oh, it's, it's how amazing how together. how big the movement could be, but they too busy beefing with each other and, See, and, and, and starting problems with each other See, before the they even make some people, money. What people don't understand is that there's no money in beef. When when you beefing with somebody, you can't make no money. You you worried about what's your next move? What what they what they gonna say? How you gonna counter? How you gonna? You can't even focus. It's it's the same thing. When countries are at war, it's no jobs. It's no nothing. All the money is going towards making. Um, weapons and sending out troops and taking it like there's no job everything is messed up so when you at war you you beefing and you going back and forth you you taking all your energy that could be going into your music and into being prosperous and putting it into something negative so i'm never gonna co-sign that like that's why i'm in and out all right this is what we're gonna do all right this is it now i'm out of here we're not gonna drag this on this is what we're not gonna keep doing right because you it's just not, you slapped nice nikki in when she was on to the next yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think a lot of times people take everything. People are real sensitive. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't really know how to. Um, it's just business. I don't know how to filter myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I I feel like filters are things for things like fish tanks and cigarettes and <laughs> air conditioners. And I don't I don't have a filter, so I I feel like if I'm talking to somebody that's adult, I can, I can pretty much tell you exactly how I feel. I don't shouldn't have, shouldn't have to sugarcoat it or, or go around it. A lot of times people be in their feelings. You say something, oh, she said this and I'm like, I said what I said, what? I don't know. Relax, calm down. So I when is this know. album set to drop? Um, the album is next year, 2018. I don't have an exact date yet, but um, I do have all my singles lined up. I'm shooting videos literally like every week, every two weeks because I don't really know the order that I want them to go in. I'd, I'd go as as I think about like the Kim record, Wake Me Up record wasn't supposed to be like the first record that you guys heard. Right. There's another record that was supposed to be first, but the, the climate of music changes. So I was like, all right, we'll, we'll, the way I'm feeling right now, the way the atmosphere right now, this seems like the record that I should go with. So I know what record that I'm, in my mind is gonna be the next record. Shot the video for it. The song is clear, it's ready to go. But is that necessary? That could it change tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. So I just want to have everything ready in case I change my mind. Like, all right, change my mind. I want to go with this one. And the video's already done here. Let's go. I don't have to chase nobody down. I don't want to have to find nobody on tour. I don't want to have to come up on my own tour. I want everything. Why? So it's still moving. It's moving. Things it's moving fast, and I'm running around every day. But while I have a little bit of time here and there, I'm I'm trying to get everything done ahead of time. 
There it is, DMV Remy Ma in the building. I'm about to get her to spit some bars, man. So y'all better fix your face and stay tuned right here on WPGC 95.5 Remy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.